I'm just seeing all the ideas for the intro song. All right. I don't know why they just came up, but I actually had one. We'll save those uh, intro songs <laughs> for the future. Gangster's Paradise for sure. But here's the one I here's the one I chose. Baby, let's stay home tonight. We can put a couple records on. We can build a fire all right. What else are we gonna do? Maybe we can dance till dawn. We can't go anywhere. Everything will be just fine. It's gonna be fine. We'll either have to put clothes on. I can you do you need to put clothes on. Inside. You need to put Baby, clothes on. Baby, let's stay home tonight. But you are gonna stay home Lately, tonight. We've been walking in the straight line. Doing our own thing. Never Can y'all hear this? We've been going down, down, making reservations. But maybe we just <laughs> We're going to give everybody a couple minutes to get in. Baby, let's stay on the night. We can put a couple of records on. Huh? We can build a fire. Maybe we can dance till dawn. Everything will be just fine. Don't even have to put clothes on. I can go. keep you, you warm have to put clothes inside. On. Baby, let's stay in tonight. <laughs> All right. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. It's the weird, weird way to do class tonight, but we're going to make the best of it. Let's see who we got in here right now. We got, uh, hello, Miss Becca. We got um, Godzilla Fighter. We got Kenan and Kanan. We got Phil, Philip. Um, it says we have more than that. We got some strangers in here. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> All right. Well, we're going to start off with a little trivia. Who's Godzilla Fighter? That's Hunter. Hey Hunter. Hey Kanan. Hey Cannon. Hey Philip. Y'all gotta y'all gotta type to us in here. Where is I'm out here um, on my Hayden own? Hayden Hooper. I know Hayden Hooper's on here. Yeah, you gotta y'all gotta text to us because otherwise I, I don't know it anything. It says nine, but we only see five of you. Yeah. We're getting a text from Hayden. Copyright strike. If I play that. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that. Hey, Renda. <laughs> All right. Anybody else having a hard time getting into the group before we get started? Yes, y'all need to. Y'all, we're going to play a game, but you have to uh, respond. Otherwise, I don't know. So um, the first question is a. <laughs> Is a trivia. Hey, Kara. Hey, Kara. Is a trivia question. All right. Abraham Lincoln was the tallest man to become U.S. president. How tall was he in feet and inches? You get one guess. Without Google, I know you're on your computers. You can't Google this right now. Y'all gonna be how tall? Cheating. How tall was Abraham Lincoln? I'm gonna give you about ten seconds to figure that out. Hayden, where are you at? You have to type it in here. <clears throat> here, click that again. Oh, this is. Hayden, are you in here? You know he's in there. All right. Kanan has, is, so far, Kanan is winning because he's the only, okay. Uh-oh. Now we got some, now we got it. All right. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay, Hayden, it says is watching. Hayden just texted Hayden, me. Hayden, are you on watching. your phone? Is that why we can't see you? I bet some people are on their phone. And only the people on the laptops are the one we can see and they can comment, perhaps. Maybe. Is this true? All right. Now, Hunter, I have to give the answers. You can't give the answer because you're <laughs> guessing. And Googling. <laughs> and Googling. No Googling. All right. No cheating. Hey, at least he's honest. No he well, at least cheated. you're honest. At least you're honest. All right. <laughs> The correct answer is six four. All right, right here. Oh, look, 
six four. Actually, that's not going to look right to y'all. I promise it's six four. All right. <clears throat> Next question. No cheating this time, Hunter. About how many? No. In what year? In what year were popsicles invented? In what year were popsicles invented? Oh, let's see if you can figure this one out. Are we baking something? Yeah, I already put that. 1965. All right. Any other guesses? Any other guesses? 2020. Oh, me. People will look back on the coronavirus and they'll say, what was the best thing to come out of the coronavirus? Popsicles. We invented popsicles in the year 2020. We were all sitting at home. We still wanted to have little ice cold snacks and somebody came up with the popsicle. No, the correct answer actually is, are you ready? Drum roll, please. Do this at home. Drum roll, everybody. The correct answer is 1904. So the person with the closest answer to that is Canaan, I believe. Check my math on that. 1869. Is that the closest? I don't know. All right. <clears throat> So, uh, so far, you're in the lead because Hunter cheated on the one he got right. Next question. And we're only going to do a couple more. <laughs> yeah, way to go, Kanan. All right, approximately how many turkeys are eaten in the United States on Thanksgiving each year? Approximately, again, how many turkeys are eaten in the United States on Thanksgiving each year? What is, your, what is your best guess on the number of uh, turkeys that are going to be eaten this Thanksgiving? Billions. We don't have billions of people in the United States, but we are eating billions of turkeys. All right. So, <laughs> Kenan, you eat three turkeys? Good heavens, son. <clears throat> That's a lot of turkey. <clears throat> All right, going to give you guys about five more seconds to answer this question. <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. All right, time's up. Correct answer. And only a few of you put in your, your guesses. Okay. The correct answer is 45 million. 45 million. So again, Canaan gets another correct answer. All right. Way to go. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do one more question here. I just got to figure out which, which. You you got you did not get it correct, Canaan, but you got the closest out of anybody else. Um, here we go. How many years? How many years? Put in your guess. Got about fifteen seconds. <clears throat> Look at y'all saying Canaan's cheating. I believe in I believe in you, Canaan. I believe in you. Raise your hand if you do not believe that Canaan is cheating. That's a hundred percent, hundred percent of agreement here that Canaan is not cheating because my hand is up. All right, so there you go. <clears throat> Ask the question again. The question was, how many years did it take to carve Mount Rushmore? How many years did it take to carve Mount Rushmore? <clears throat> I 
Went to Taco Bell today. That was a big trip. Our, oh, oh. Okay. Now the numbers are coming in. You got about five seconds. Five, four, three, two, <laughs> one. 70 is a long time, Kanan. 70, 70, <laughs> 70 years is a long time to, to carve something. The correct answer, it goes to Philip was very close. The correct answer is 14. Um, so Philip gets that one correct. All right. <laughs> Raise your hand if you think Rinda's cheating. 100% uh, agreement. 100%. Uh, just kidding, Rinda. Maybe, maybe you're not cheating. Um, all right. So let's get started talking about what I wanted to talk about tonight. Uh, first off, I think I'm going to plan on doing these, um, more than just on Sunday and Wednesday. Um, we might even do a daily, um, show, but, but I'm going to try to keep them, from 15 to 20 minutes tops, um, just because I don't want to stay on here and you don't want to stay on here and listen. But I do think it's important for us to uh, be together as much as possible, even though we can't really be together. So um, again, try to share this uh, with everybody that you can so we can all sort of be in here and talk and chat and be together. Uh, and I'll keep it short. It won't be a huge time commitment. We'll keep it 15 to 20 minutes. Um, and uh, I'll just kind of send out the links for that. But feel free to share that with folks. I know there are a lot of people that we got 10 or so in right now. Um, and I know that there's more that we would probably want to be in. So feel free to invite them and, and let, help, let other people join the fun with us in here. <clears throat> um, so a uh, couple of things I wanted to to, to just mention to you. Uh, one, I can see you now, Hayden. I can see you. Yes. Um, one, please, um, again, keep watching these things that we'll do in the meantime. But then two, uh, comment. I, I like to hear from you guys. And since it's really just me up here talking, I want to read what you have to say. If you think of something, it, I mean, feel free to Feel free to comment in there and I'll, I'll share it if I can. Um, so what what are you guys doing? What have y'all been up to today? Um, I know that we're still sort of quarantined uh, in our homes. Somebody said they're going to start calling your generation of teenagers the quarantines. Get it? You're the quarantines. Get it? Teens, quarantines. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> So what are you guys doing while under quarantine? Still gaming? Anybody else? What are you what are you doing? What game are you playing? Minecraft, Call of Duty. My dad was breaking off a I don't know what breaking off a, a fight. All right. Did the scavenger hunt. All right. Worked for an hour because they told me to go home and then I played video games. They did they close or were there just not many people there, Kenan? Oh, Rinda, how is the food stock at Publix? If I were to go to Publix right now, would they have the things I need? <clears throat> But they have like food. <laughs> Not like, does Publix have um, like any canned foods? <clears throat> they have some things. What about toilet paper? Does uh, does Publix have toilet paper? Not that I need it. I'm in good shape. But we have you have some toilet paper. All right. I did tell uh, Cannon, we were talking about you yesterday. We said that you would be more than happy to uh, take toilet paper to anyone's house that needs it. 
even if they are on the toilet, you would get it to them in the event that they need to get their toilet paper. So I appreciate you doing that. You are a nice stand up guy, Kenan. So if y'all know of anybody that needs to, he'll bring one little square at a time because we got to conserve stuff, but um, only sold 40 units, tires and wheels by two, which is bad. So they told part timers to leave. Uh, I got you. <clears throat> well, um, while you're home, let me make a couple of suggestions for you while you are spending time at home. Um, enjoy your first week. Sleep in as I have been. Becca's been like, or how late are you going to sleep in? I, I guess I'll just sleep in until I can. I had planned on taking this week off. Uh, but then I would encourage you to try to get to some normal type of schedule um, and uh, try to go back to as much of a routine as possible after that. Uh, the other thing that I would highly recommend you do, highly, and I'm, I'm actually doing this, is I would highly encourage you to start a journal. If you if you already are doing a journal, um, then you then you you're already doing this. Uh, but if you have not ever started a journal, now would be a great time to start and just write about all the stuff that's going on. Uh, what you're doing with your time. I, I genuinely believe that that somebody will probably be interested to hear about what you did during this time many years from now in the future, because this is something that's never really happened before. And you being able to document your thoughts and write them down uh, will help you remember what you did and how you were handling it, and what, what all you were doing. So I think that that would be really, a really neat exercise to do. Um, and the other thing, uh, advice that I will give you <clears throat> would just be to tune in uh, tune in here and to any other opportunities that you have to fellowship with your brothers and sisters in Christ, because typically when something bad or something like this happens, you cling to the people that are closest to you. You cling to your church family and you uh, cling to the people of, of faith. This is so unique because we can't. Um, and we can't really be around the people that we want to be around. And so any opportunity that we get to be together, we need to make the most of it because these are special times that we need to be around each other. And I know this is not the way that we would prefer to, to communicate and be together, but it's what we've got right now. Um, <clears throat> yes, Hayden, as of now, church, we will not be having church Sunday. We were gonna, we're gonna be posting a video Sunday morning to Facebook for people to watch and participate at home with. So um, in the meantime, tune in to this and other things that we're doing as much as you can. Um, so this week, the passage that we're looking at this week is Romans 12. And we did actually talk a little bit about that Sunday. Um, and um, I want to just say a couple words about that right now. Um but Romans 12, let me just read a, a portion of that. And again, this is the same portion that uh, Philip read for us at church on Sunday. And uh, it says this. <clears throat> Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor, serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with God's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Now, the passage, the, the part that I really want to uh, center in on here just for a moment is that part that says practice hospitality. Uh, in the comments there, can you tell me what you think it means to practice hospitality? Can y'all do that? I don't even know if you can. Just try to tell me what you think it means to practice hospitality down there. And I'll read them out as I get them. <clears throat> What does it mean to practice hospitality?
Everybody? Y'all still with me? <laughs> y'all still y'all still there? Canaan, did you copy and paste that from uh from from something online? Canaan says the friendly and generous reception and entertainment of guests, visitors, or strangers. Which is an incredible definition. Uh, sounds like um, <laughs> sounds uh, good to me. Be nice. To, uh, Philip says, be nice to people you may not know. Yeah. Um, and um, Hayden, being nice and helping friends or even strangers. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we all know what it means to practice hospitality. Uh, the problem, I think, for a lot of people is um, during times like this, uh, I think there are basically two types of people that you kind of see during a, a time of tragedy or uncertainty. One, people either become incredibly selfish during a time of tragedy. Um, some people become incredibly selfish and they hoard stuff and they just look after themselves and they make sure that they're taken care of. And then the other type of person, the second kind of person are the ones who become selfless. And you really get to see who uh, really cares about people during a time of tragedy. And so my encouragement to you is to be people who practice hospitality, who put the words that Paul says in Romans 12 here into practice and that you, um, Practice hospitality by, by being selfless. Um, be kind. Find ways to help other people. I One thing that I was thinking about, a lot of you have um, grandparents or at least people in your life who are elderly. Um, one of the things that you can do right now is just to maybe give them a call tonight or tomorrow. Check in on them. See if they need groceries. See if they need you to go pick up medicine. This, this is kind of the, the, this virus affects them more than it does you probably, and there might be some ways that you can help them. Um, and that's a great way to practice hospitality. Um, and it's a small thing that you can do. Um, so, um, other thing I'll say about all this is that I do believe that this is something that God can use. <clears throat> I don't know that, um, it's something that God has caused, but we certainly believe that God can use anything and people being at home with families and people really thinking about what's most important and those types of things can all be really good, really good ways for us to really focus and center on what's most important. Um, and so make the most of it. Don't take this time for granted. Don't waste it. Try to use it uh, for God's glory as much as possible. Try to uh, take advantage of the time that you have with family during this time. Um, and then finally, I would say just keep praying. Hello, Abel. Uh, just keep praying. Uh, one passage that comes to mind, we've been reading that Philippians 4 passage a lot, but another passage that comes to mind is this passage out of Proverbs 3, 5, and it says this, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. How encouraging is that? Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. I mean, look around at the world right now. It looks like everything may be going uh, in a very different direction than we're comfortable with. And, and we can't worry about that. We can only put our trust in God and lean not on our own understanding in a time like this. Um, so keep those passages before you. Keep reading that Romans 12 passage. Find a way to share it this week uh, and find a way to share this, what we're doing here with, uh, with friends or anybody that you think would be interested. Uh, again, this one went a little long. It's about 25 minutes. We're about to cut out but I'll try to keep the rest of them to about 15 or 20 minutes, just enough time for us to say, Hey, and check in and see how everybody's doing. So before you go, anything else that you want to share with our group? And, uh, if not, we'll go ahead and call it. <clears throat> Hi, Sydney. I just saw you, you, you in, in here. Hello. Anybody else need to say anything before we go? Anybody? Rinda, Rinda, uh, the Gannons uh, are um, going to about, about to eat some of your cookies. Our uh, God, Godzilla fighter, are we going on computers today? 
I don't know what that means. What, what do you mean by that, Hunter? Are we going on computers today? I don't. You can tell me what that means. Like to do a quiz? Uh, no, no quiz or anything. Uh, we'll just. <laughs> I cannot give you cookies. I thought about eating them in front of you just to rub it in, but I felt like that might be mean. <laughs> Stream on Twitch. Uh, I may look for some other streaming options. Um, whatever we do, I'll make sure that y'all can watch it. Um, we'll, I might try some other stuff out and we'll play around with some other ideas. The uh, main thing is I just want to be able to communicate with you guys. And if there's a better way to do it, we'll figure it out. Uh, we should do a Kahoot. Um, I could, we could probably do a Kahoot. Um, I'll, I'll try to figure out all those things out. Um, we won't do it tonight, but, uh, we'll, we'll try to, there's a lot of really fun stuff we can do. If you have any really good ideas about how we can make this time together more fun, uh, email me or text me. Cause I'd be happy to, to try to make it happen. I think that we, there's a lot of unique opportunities that we can do with this, something like this. Um, <clears throat> Good. Okay, Renda, if you need to go to the grocery, Renda recommends that you go in the morning, all right? Is that before it gets crazy? I thought about going late at night, but I don't even know if they're going to be open late at night. They're, cl they're all closing early, so I got to get up in the morning to go, I guess. Uh, my day has been good, Phil. My day's been good. It's been It's just been so weird, though. I can't, I mean, I just can't, like, it's just been different. I mean, this is it's kind of been kind of been weird, but. Y'all need to know that Chris has been getting up about 11 o'clock every day. <laughs> That's why I said you need to enjoy one week. And I've um, been painting the boys' bedroom. But yes, Chris has been getting up about 11 and eating breakfast. Enjoying my break. And he eats lunch <laughs> at 3. And then he eats dinner about 5, 6. Then he gets hungry again around 11 or 12 midnight. Goes to bed about 2. <laughs> so anyway. These are true. These are true stories. <laughs> I was supposed to be on vacation this week. I'm I know just it's a vacation. We're just it's a staycation. It's a staycation. Also, I don't, do I don't have a bedtime on staycation. Y'all like hey, do y'all like Becca's <laughs> hair? This is my staycation hair. <laughs> Thank you, Canaan. Thank you. <laughs> what are we having the spirit of? Canaan? He said that's the spirit. It's the spirit. It's vacation time. Vacation now, spirit. Whoa, that's paint. That's got paint on it. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, Becca wants to show you the cookies. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That hot? No, it's not hot anymore. Ooh. Wish y'all were here to eat these with us, except Kenan, because they do have people. Hunter, yeah. Everything. Next time we do a show, feel free to call in during the show. Yeah, yeah. Hey, next time we have a show, anybody can call in. If you want to call in, we'll have a special guest call in. I may interview you and ask you some questions. Um, so Hunter, yeah, whoever calls in first, I guess. Um, except for Kenan, I want everybody to know how good yeah, these cookies are. Yeah, Kenan, they're harmless they're to you from here, though. You can get as close to these as you want, and, and they, they won't hurt Reese's you. Pieces. Internet, baby! And y'all should have ordered some of these from Miranda if you didn't, because they're good. They're so good. Uh, I'll, I'll give out my phone number tomorrow. Yeah, it's Otis Spunkmeyer. Chocolate with Reese's Pieces. They're really good. I wish the camera had smell vision because, oh, yeah. They kind of smell like Cocoa Puffs. Ew. And Cocoa Puffs and Reese's Pieces mixed together, don't you think? Okay. Anyway, they're really good, Renda. So thank you. I wish y'all were here to eat some with us except Kenan. I would make you something different because I love you. Okay, bye. <laughs> Oh man. All right. Live stream. Yeah, we'll do a live stream. What time is best for you guys? What time do you prefer to do? Is the evening better? I ain't got anything going on. I, I have I have nothing. So whenever. Chris is um <laughs> free after eleven a.m. Prior to that, he's asleep. What is the best time? I don't I can't guarantee that well, well there's no way everybody will have the same best time, but what is the best time for you? Evening. Yeah. <laughs> hey Sydney, hey Ann. I don't think I got to say hey to y'all earlier. Ann? Well, she was on there earlier. I don't see Ann in here. I thought you said Ann 
I thought you were talking about Anne earlier. No. Okay, well, not hi to Anne if you're not here. I thought I heard you saying Anne's name. I don't know, y'all. Anne, are you there? <laughs> uh, evening. We need Bonnie in here. We need Zoe. I know. Where's Zoe? Zoe and Caleb, where you at? Maybe if I yell loud enough, they'll hear me. Well, they Zoe! Do, they do live kind of across the street. So. Oh, man. I thought I really thought I heard you say Ann's name earlier. Did anybody hear me say Ann's name? I don't think I said Ann's name. I mean, look, I don't. Here. What time y'all been getting up? I want to know. I've been getting up by yeah. eight every day. That's a little bit of sleeping in for me. I normally am up by seven, but I've been getting up by eight. Somebody just liking my live stream. <laughs> All right. I don't think Ann's here. All right. Well, we'll do it again tomorrow. I don't Josh, know what time yet. Josh isn't here. We need Try Josh. to get everybody in. All right. Uh, love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Um, Kisses. Maya and Deja. We need Maya and Deja here. Yeah. Yeah. We need Maddie. Maybe tomorrow I'll, I'll talk. Maybe tomorrow uh, I'll show you how to make communion bread. You can do that for your parents tomorrow. Uh, I made it um, since we're not meeting Sunday. You might need communion. How, how cool would it be if you just said to your parents, hey, I made the communion bread. Now, don't burn the house down, but that would be awesome, right? They would love that. Uh, so I'll show you. And you probably have some of this stuff in your house. It's really simple. And there's a good recipe that um, has, like, brown sugar in it and honey. It's sweet. It's good. All right. <laughs> yes, Sydney is right. Be safe. Wash your hands. Wash, wash your hands. Cough love like that. Love y'all. And, um, you know, keep it real. Keep it real. Bye, everyone. Kisses. Don't get sick.